Welcome to the channel. Here we discuss medical topics and lifestyle. In this video today, we are talking about food sources of vitamin D. Vitamin D plays a critical role for our bodies. It's important to keep a fine balance of it. So we're going to go over some food sources. It's interesting to mention food sources as the video topic because vitamin D is actually naturally found in very few foods. So let's go through the foods where vitamin D is found. So you may wonder where vitamin D actually comes from if it's not found in many foods. The answer is the sun. At least some of the vitamin D needs are met through skin exposure to sunlight. How much vitamin D is made depends on the time of day, our age, and how much skin is actually uncovered as well as our skin tone. So these are the things that impact how much vitamin D gets absorbed from sunlight. All these factors play an important role. So time of day is an explanatory, self-explanatory one, uh, as is how much skin is uncovered. But skin tone, for example, has to do with our own biology and melatonin in our skin. So we've established that sunlight is important. So you may wonder um, about how much sun in terms of units and what about sunblock? So without sunblocks and with the arms and legs exposed, the skin will make an average of 10 to 15,000 units of vitamin D in one pinking sun exposure. Now, you may wonder if that's a lot or not, and in a moment I'll show you how much vitamin D we actually need. But sunblock with an SPF of 15 or more blocks 100% of vitamin D production in the skin. The recommended dietary allowances for vitamin D are as follows. So for females aged 19 to 70, we need 600 units per day. For females 70 and above, 800 units a day. For males 19 to 70, 600 units a day. And for males aged 70 and over, we also need 800 units a day. So that is roughly what we need as per the guidelines. Now, before we get into the food, I just want to explain a bit of why vitamin D is important. And then after that, we're going to go through the common foods and the sources. So let's ask ourselves what vitamin D does in a nutshell. Well, it helps the body absorb calcium and it regulates both the calcium and phosphorus levels in the blood. This is important because of our bones. Vitamin D plays a huge role in bone growth and maintenance as well as influencing cell growth and development. And it's also super important for proper immune function. This is probably very prominent now in the past year with all the mentions of vitamin D and COVID in the news. But all in all, without going too into it in this video, we are going over food sources. And just we need to know that it plays an important role in a lot of key processes in our bodies. Now let's get into some food sources. So I'm going to list a whole bunch of food sources that are high in vitamin D content as per the units, as per the dietary allowance recommendation that we mentioned earlier on. So the first source is cereal. So a lot of cereals are fortified with vitamin D. I'm personally not a fan of this option because of all the other bad things going on, um, mainly the processed sugar and, um, and other things going on there. But cereal is a provider of vitamin D because they're fortified, and one cup of it generally gives 40 units of vitamin D. Now let's talk about eggs. So one large cooked egg will give a similar 41 units of vitamin D. Perhaps not the tastiest, but we have beef liver. So beef liver, three ounces, gives us 42 units of vitamin D. So all similar for the time being between the three. And then we take it up a notch a little bit. So we have orange juice. So similar to cereal, um, it's fortified, and 8 ounces gives us 100 units of orange juice. Again, not my personal favorite because of some of the other stuff going on in the juice. But it does give 100 units, so it's quite a bit more than the egg or the cereal. And then finally, we got milk. So whole milk, or 3.25% milk, uh, a cup of it gives 124 units of vitamin D. So we're really ramping it up now with the orange juice and the milk in comparison to the cereal, for example. Now let's get into some of the heavy hitters, so better and best sources of vitamin D. So the first one we have is tuna. So three ounces of tuna gives 150 units of vitamin D. As you notice, it's all going to be a bit fish-based. Sardines, canned sardines, three ounces, can give also around 150 units. Then we move on to the best sources, so salmon. Salmon, three ounces of salmon gives us about 450 units, depending on how it's prepared. And then cod liver oil is the top top with one tablespoon of it 
giving us a huge 1,360 units. That's probably the easiest way to get our vitamin D units into our body, but there's plenty of food sources there. I know I said at the beginning of the video that there might not be that many, but there is a fair few, and these are the best sources. So you have milder sources like um, egg, fortified cereals, things like that, and then we move on to the bigger and more potent sources of vitamin D. So I'm glad you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Please leave a comment in the section below and subscribe for more.